back to my channel and welcome back to a somewhat new series here on my channel. As you know, I did a 30 minute meal collab about a month ago with a bunch of amazing other YouTube channels and you loved it. So I decided that I would start implementing a 30 minute meal into my series of videos. So tonight's meal is so incredibly good. It is from start to finish from cooking to on your plate, you're sitting down to eat within 30 minutes. So this video series is great for those of us that are busy. We may be housewives that are busy, moms, stay at home moms, full time workers like myself, and we are busy and we want a quick, easy, delicious, but most importantly on point WW friendly meal. So this series is going to be perfect for you. So stay tuned for tonight's amazing 30 minute meal. For tonight's 30 minute meal, we are going to be making ground beef risotto and we are going to pair that with a vegetable. So let me show you what is in the risotto. So first you're going to need some black pepper, garlic, beef broth, you can either do fresh onion or minced onion. I'm going to do minced to save on time. Ground beef, I'm doing extra lean 96.4, shredded carrots, fresh chives, Parmesan cheese, and some sort of a rice. I'm just doing this long grain rice. We are going to pair our risotto with this specific blend of veggies with snap peas, carrots, and broccoli. So it should be a perfect side dish. So let's get started on our risotto. So the first thing that we need to do is get our ground beef cooking down. To that, we're gonna go ahead and add in our onion. So if you use fresh, this is where you'll add it. This says about a quarter of a cup of onion. We're also going to add in our garlic and we're gonna let this cook until the ground beef is thoroughly cooked through. And another thing, you guys, not only is this a 30 minute meal, this is a one pot meal as well. So that is a double score. Once your hamburger is just about cooked through, you're gonna go ahead and add in your one cup of rice, and that is uncooked rice. We're just gonna give this a stir. We're gonna let this cook for a couple of minutes before we add in our broth. Now make sure you drain your hamburger if you don't use an extra lean. Once you've let your rice cook down for just a couple of minutes, I went ahead and just added in a little bit of pepper, and then we are also going to put in about three and a half cups of our beef broth, which is almost the entire container. And that's what's actually going to cook the rice. Now, pro tip for you guys, the best way and the most flavorful way to cook any pasta or rice is in a broth. So I love that this recipe actually uses beef broth to cook the rice. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and pop on our lid and we're going to let this come to a boil and cook for about 10 minutes. Once you've been cooking down for about 10 minutes, go ahead and remove your lid and we're gonna add in about half of a cup of our slivered carrots. Give that a stir. We're gonna let this cook another five to seven minutes until all of our liquid is absorbed. Once all of the liquid has been absorbed in your risotto, you're going to take half of a cup of Parmesan cheese and we're just going to mix this in and that's what actually creates that cheesy, yummy risotto. And there is our cheesy, delicious risotto. It is four servings, that's it. Oh, we're getting steamy, sorry guys, there we go. Only four servings, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this plated up. That's a lot of food and the smart points are not bad for rice, cheese, and ground beef. So here is the completed dinner, so from dry ingredients to your table in 30 minutes. So this is one fourth of the ground beef risotto. I topped it with a little bit of fresh chives. So this entire serving, one fourth is only eight smart points. Not bad for cheese, rice, and hamburger. You can divide it into six servings and it would make it only six points a piece. So just kind of depending on the points that you want to use, but I decided to do the one fourth and look at yum. So good, so hearty, delicious. And then there's my frozen veggies. I just topped them with a little bit of, I can't believe it's not butter spray, salt and pepper. So this is my eight smart point 30 minute meal. I hope you enjoyed the official first episode in my new 30 minute meal series. I'll be doing these periodically on my channel to give you some really great fast 
meal ideas. And this dinner was so good. My husband loved it. It's low point, it's delicious. It's a little bit of comfort food with a super quick turnaround time. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little notification bell. That way you'll be notified every single time that I upload a new video. I do upload almost every single day. Give this one a thumbs up comment down below. Let me know if you really like this 30 minute meal idea because if you guys love it, I will continue to put out 30 minute meal videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.